what's going on everybody welcome back happy tuesday hope we're all having a wonderful day so far as we begin to wrap things up we've got a lot to talk about and i'm telling you uh, the more i look at these models for this week the more active it really begins to look throughout a big section of the country from the northern plains all the way through the east coast and I'll tell you, we've got a pretty sneaky, severe weather setup on the way throughout this week and even into this weekend, I think, into sections of the southeast and mid-Atlantic. Uh, so we'll definitely watch that. The models have really kind of begun to come into agreement a little bit more on that idea. A couple other things here at the beginning of the video. Uh, one, I apologize if I found, excuse me, if I sound a bit stuffy or uh, a bit congested. Unfortunately, I, like many of us, am really in the fight of my life against the pollen right now. So, um... My allergies are really flaring up, and uh, it is very annoying, I can promise you that, but uh, hopefully it doesn't get in the way too much of your viewing experience uh, throughout the video. But again, uh, that is something that I'm dealing with, and I'm sure many of us are dealing with out there uh, as we really get through spring and really get into allergy season. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and get into the forecast because we do have a pretty heavy dose of things to talk about. So we'll start by looking at our hazards out there right now. And sorry, I'm going to move my water bottle over here a little bit uh, just so I can grab it a little bit easier whenever I'm sure I will inevitably need to. Uh, but back to looking at the hazards on the map here. We do have some winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and even a couple winter storm watches up here through the uh, northern Rockies and through the northern Great Plains as we have a system moving on through right now helping to uh, create some snow up in that region. We also have have some red flag warnings in these pink areas on the map so that just pretty much means we have kind of dry windy weather uh, allowing fire dangers to be higher than they normally would on any given day so that's why we have those warnings up and also some uh, freeze warnings up here through the sections of kind of Ohio and Michigan just due to those colder temperatures that we're seeing during the overnight hours. Take a look at radar right now. This is what's left over of that storm system that moved through the Great Plains yesterday. Still producing a little bit of lake effect snow here this afternoon in sections of the northeast. Uh, but we also have this other storm system up here over uh, the northern Great Plains. And that is what is helping to create some snow here throughout the Dakotas and through sections of the northern Rockies this afternoon and this evening. And we do have a bit of unsettled weather down here near the Gulf, but uh, nothing too crazy going on with that. So taking a look at our satellite loop, again, this is that big time storm system that really uh, is beginning to finally luckily move out of the country. But you can see some snow left over this afternoon through sections of Wisconsin. Uh, you can actually see on the satellite loop, if you uh, look closely enough, you can see it kind of shrink in as that sun has begun to melt that snowpack throughout the day today. So luckily, that is one good thing about seeing snow in the springtime. As soon as it's here, likely uh, it's usually gone. So that is definitely nice. And then again, this is that other system up here into the kind of northern tier of the country and then we do have uh, that unsettled weather down near the gulf but all things considered everywhere kind of in between here has had a really nice tuesday a really nice spring like kind of day out there so we are going to start here with kind of uh, that system moving through the northern great plains we do have some snow still left to come but looking at impacts here um the main areas that are still left to see those impacts are up here through sections of Montana, North Dakota, and the extreme northern tier of Minnesota through overnight tonight where we will still see some of that snow falling as well as some wind helping to create some mainly mo uh, minor to moderate impacts. But in the sections of extreme northwestern North Dakota, we could see even some major impacts out of what is left to come with that storm system. So that is um, pretty much all we're going to touch on with that storm system as it's kind of already really moving out of the picture and um, it's kind of really moving over very rural areas. So I don't want to spend too much time talking on that just because it likely isn't affecting uh, that many of you watching this video. Now, looking ahead into the rest of this week at our pressure map here, you're going to notice we have a pretty uh, distinct pattern that's going to set up. So this is that storm system uh, that's moving on through the sections of the Dakotas today and tomorrow. That is eventually going to work its way uh, up into Canada, but we're going to get another storm system to develop on the southern edge of that through sections of the Great Plains going into tomorrow and Thursday. And this is what's really going to begin our multi-day severe weather setup. So uh, this is going to have the chance to produce severe weather here in the Plains on Wednesday as well as Thursday, and then even potentially um, 
Friday we're going to have some severe weather, but not from that storm system because you'll notice that one kind of scoots on up towards Canada and gets out of the picture. But uh, much like the first storm did, as that one's pulling away, we're going to get another storm system to develop going into Friday and Saturday here along the Gulf. And this is one that really could be quite a sneaky severe weather setup and maybe even a, a kind of wintry setup as well through sections of the east. So uh, this one I'm going to be watching for severe weather uh, through sections of the mid-Atlantic and maybe even some snow here through the Midwest and potentially even some northwest flow snow uh, through the Appalachian mountain chain, which um, isn't unheard of this time of the year, but definitely kind of will be a bit of a rarity to see. So as you can see, we moved ahead into Saturday and we've got a pretty impressive low pressure system cranking up here over sections of the Ohio River Valley, likely bringing severe weather through the mid-Atlantic and potentially snow here through the Great Lakes. And after that swings on through is whenever we're going to have uh, those really below average temperatures begin to move in going into Sunday and then into early next week. So that's what I'm expecting here uh, over the next week in terms of our pressure map and just kind of where we're going to have the storm systems, where we're going to have that rain, that snow, and that severe weather. Now moving this on over to our precipitation map, you can see, let me actually back this up when we get back into current times. Okay, there we go. So again, right now, uh, we have that storm system that's going to begin to crank up here over the Dakota. So again, these are the places that are likely going to see that snow going into tonight and tomorrow, especially up here over sections of North Dakota and uh, sections of Montana, really getting a lot of that snow. But after that storm system kind of pulls away, it allows this next storm system to begin to blossom over sections of Kansas, Iowa, Missouri. And again, this is really going into tomorrow evening and into Thursday. And this will help to produce some severe weather as early as tomorrow evening through this part of the country. And then as we get into Thursday afternoon, another chance of severe weather here throughout that um, kind of same general area, but potentially a bit further to the south and east, also having that severe weather chance during the day Thursday before then Friday rolls around and we get that other storm system to kind of begin to uh, really crank up really Friday overnight through sections of the Mississippi River Valley, bringing severe weather chances back down to the southeast. Then as we go into Saturday starting our weekend, I expect that storm system to really begin to strengthen. And then that's whenever we could see some severe weather here into the southeast and mid-Atlantic on Saturday. Uh, and then even potentially some snow here through sections of the Midwest you can see here overnight Saturday through much of Michigan, Indiana, and even parts of Ohio having that potential of some snow out of this thing uh, before all is said and done. And while that's ongoing, again, I'm expecting some pretty impressive severe weather on the southeastern side of this. So uh, down here through sections of the Carolinas, Virginia, I think Saturday evening could be quite the um, intense night of some severe weather. So we'll definitely have to watch that. And then going into Sunday afternoon, that severe weather potential uh, kind of moves up here into sections of the northeast. So we'll have to watch that. But also, you'll notice here on the back side of this, look at this area of precipitation left over coming down off the lakes. Uh, and with that, it is helping to bring uh, the potential of maybe some blues mixing in here with this green going into early next week. So some kind of northwest flow potential is definitely on the table with this system as we go into later this weekend and into early next week. So uh, that'll definitely be interesting to keep an eye on and see if that potential continues uh, to show up on our models. Now, bringing down the severe weather threat a little bit more, we'll start with tomorrow afternoon. This is that area under the gun, and again, all hazards are possible. Anything from strong wind to hail to tornadoes tomorrow from Des Moines down back towards Kansas City and even OKC, uh, seeing that potential of severe weather tomorrow. Then as we get this into Wednesday, you can see it's really a lot of the same areas, although maybe a bit more focused here th uh, down towards Kansas City, Wichita, Des Moines, and uh, southeastern Nebraska there being under the gun. But again, anyone really from Chicago all the way down uh, towards kind of the Austin area has that potential of severe weather on um, this would be Thursday. And then going into Friday, that threat shifts on down towards the Gulf Coast as that next low pressure system begins to develop and begins to move off to the north and west. So that's all we have right now in terms of maps from the Storm Prediction Center, but I really wouldn't be surprised over the next day or two to see some severe weather uh, maps introduced for sections of the southeast, including the Carolinas, uh, maybe Georgia, Virginia, and then even Sunday potentially for the northeast. We'll just have to watch the model trends because uh, it's still so far out that there's plenty of time for the models to change. But the other big story out of all of this is that cold air behind this storm system. So 
this is going into really the start of next week. You can see here we have that chance of that cold air to really funnel into the eastern half of the country. And this could be well below average air. So uh, really anything from 10 to 20 degrees below average would not surprise me for morning lows and afternoon highs. Uh, really going into the beginning part of next week before hopefully we'll rebound later next week. Uh, so that's all I've got for today's video. Again, I apologize if this one might have been a little bit short. Again, unfortunately, I'm just not feeling the best right now. So uh, I'm trying to take it somewhat easy and I don't want to, you know, make uh, my health any worse than it already is. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, trying my best to keep you guys in the loop here as we do have a pretty active week on deck. So make sure you have a way to get those warnings if you are in any of those severe weather places that we looked at on that map. Uh, and if you're not, then maybe share the video with somebody who is and let them know uh, to just make sure they have a way to get warnings over the next couple of days and even through this weekend uh, from anywhere from the plains all the way through the east coast having that chance of some unsettled weather. With that said, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all tomorrow.